Summary gadgets are a useful way to bring key information into the dashboard display. A user may have a set of reports, groups or saved searches that categorise information and provide key performance information. Here I'm looking at a simple custom interactive dashboard and you can see that I've started to create a new gadget and this is going to be a summary gadget so I need to scroll down the list and now I can click to start the definition. And if I decide the if I well I need to decide the data source that I want to use and uh, here I can see that a user can choose from groups reports saved searches and advanced finds and the summary items can be displayed as a set of icons or a list uh, we'll see the difference in a moment but here you can see I've selected icon view here and the default action and drill down are not relevant but I do need to provide a name and once that uh, is defined I can click finished the gadget drops into the page. You can see that the icon view uh, displays an icon of the entity that the data is based on with a sum of the data items returned by the underlying data source. And the choice of icon or list view needs to be appropriate for the display and the arrangement of the dashboard. So we'll need to uh, change this, I think. So I have to start to edit the gadget. And this time I'm going to change the uh, from an icon view to a list view. And if I click through the next screen, I can finish the definition. And as you can see, this presents a more comfortable view for the summary in my screens layout. And if a user clicks any of these summary items, then the data source, in this case a group, is loaded into the interface.